Hello everyone, welcome to the Natural History Museum. Normally you see the fossils that we prepare on the other side of the window, but to really get into it, I need to bring you into the lab today. What I'm doing today is I'm working on this dinosaur specimen to get this ready for research or display. To get this specimen to the lab so that we can work on it, First, we have to collect it, and by collecting it, we'll wrap it in wet paper towels and then plaster and burlap to protect the fossils so that we can bring them back to the museum to work on. You may ask why we leave so much rock on the specimen, and that's to protect the bones because if we take too much rock off in the field, it's really easy to damage or fracture parts of the bones. And when we remove the rock, we want to do it in the controlled environment of the lab. Now, it'll probably take this specimen at least six months to a year before you see it on display in the museum or before researchers can start their work on it. So one cool thing that we find as we prepare fossils a lot of times is we find anomalies on the bones. So this is a rib of one of our Tyrannosaur specimens. And as we prepared it, we found this weird little halo of bone in the center of this rib. And what that actually is, is where the rib broke and then healed during the life of this Tyrannosaur. And as we prepared more of the ribs, we found several more of these breaks. So that one point in this animal's life, he broke eight ribs and they all healed back together. A question I get all the time is, how do I distinguish what is actually fossil bone and what is the rock around? So one of the ways that we can do that is if we get a specimen wet, sometimes there'll be a slight color change between the bone and the rock. So in this case, the bone is this nice chocolate brown, whereas the rock is this kind of salt and pepper gray. But in the field, sometimes we don't know. So one of the ways that we tell if something is a fossil or rock is you'll see paleontologists all the time in the field licking the fossil. And the reason that we lick it is there's still microscopic holes in the bone and the bone will actually stick to your tongue where fossilized rock and fossilized wood will not. So that's a trick that we can use to determine if something is bone or rock. Once we're in the lab, we use a plethora of tools to start removing all this rock away from the bones. So we'll use this tool here called an air scribe. So it's like a miniature jackhammer that slowly chips the rock away. And then when we get close to the bone, we use the same tools that you would see in a dentist's office. We use lots of dental picks to slowly chip away the little grains of sand around the bones. We'll also use lots of chemicals, basically like super glue, to glue all the bones together and keep them together while we prepare the specimen till we can get it on display.